Welcome to SSM Health Monroe Clinic Medical Groups to the Point. I'm Kent McConnell, and we are visiting today with Don Meyer, Volunteer Coordinator at SSM Health Monroe Clinic. And Don, welcome. Thank you. I want to thank you for the job that you do at Monroe Clinic. And after all, I don't think people give enough credit or really realize how important it is to have volunteers at Monroe Clinic or anywhere for that matter. Yeah, I have to say that our staff, administration, and of course myself, highly, highly appreciate our volunteers, and we put so much value on the work that they do here. Today, we're going to highlight volunteer opportunities at SSM Health Monroe Hospital. Would you mind starting us off by sharing a little bit about the volunteer services program as a whole? Yeah, we have a wonderful group of volunteers that are called upon to fulfill our mission here at SSM Health Monroe. And um, our volunteers do it with kindness and compassion, and they're able to support our patients and staff in so many different ways. Our volunteer opportunities are for young and old of all ages, and we have a variety of times and shifts to fit their schedule And it's a great way to meet great people, and the volunteers feel so good about themselves when they leave here. And they have also found it to be a great way to learn new and interesting skills, and it expands their knowledge of the healthcare system. Don, what are some areas of opportunity for volunteering in the hospital? Well, with all our assignments, there's enough variety to fit anybody's personality and skills, and we give all of our volunteers training so that they succeed in their role here. I'll just mention a few opportunities that we have right now, but there's actually many. For example, we have the greeters at the front doors. They hand out masks and greet our guests so that they feel welcome. We have oncology volunteers that's responsible for safe handling for the transportation of chemotherapy from the pharmacy to oncology, and then they also get the lunches for the patients. We um, have an inpatient position either during the day or at night. We call it the candy striper. And these volunteers uh, round with the hospitality cart. They make sure our patients are comfortable with their room temperature and if they want books or warm blankets or water, things like that. And then they also help stock some supplies. We have cardiac rehab where they are assisting in cleaning the equipment after the patients are done using it. We have the hospital front desk, and that's a a very great need that we have. Uh, The patients need assistance getting to their appointments, and sometimes you have to push wheelchairs or wayfind with our patients and their guests. We have the cafe where they can greet visitors, help the patients that look like they could really use some assistance getting their food and drink and getting to their table and cleaning up after them so that they don't have to worry about that. We have ICU receptionists where they answer phones for the nurses. And we have pharmacy where they help with uh, unpacking the prescriptions and cleaning and straightening shelves. We have cookie crew. They bake cookies that are, the smell wafts through the hospital. (laughs) Everybody loves it. And it's on the second and fourth Tuesday of every month. We have the gift shop, we have blanket ambassador where they visit the patients to see if they'd like to have one of our wonderful homemade blankets that our wonderful volunteers make. So those are just a, you know, a, a variety of, of assignments that we have here. And um, I can sit down and discuss them with the people if they are interested in becoming a volunteer. As far as volunteering goes, Don, how frequent are the volunteer shifts? Are they regular or irregular? So traditionally they're regular. Our volunteers typically volunteer once a week, but we do have options to volunteer like every other week or uh, we work around people's schedules. We'll work with high school students to find a shift that works with their busy schedule. And we have individuals that are in college that just come for the summer or are snowbirds that travel during the winter months, and and we always work around their schedules for that. Are there other ways you can be involved with volunteer services? Yeah, we uh, have volunteers that prefer to volunteer from home, and we have opportunities in such as sewing and knitting, and these fantastic volunteers make lap and full-size quilts 
and knitted blankets for adults. They make baby blankets and baby hats for our family birth center and prayer shawls. And these items give the patients great comfort and a homey feel while they're here visiting us at the hospital. We also are looking for volunteers that would be interested in fundraising for our scholarship program. Don, there has to be a lot of people out there who would like to check into being a volunteer, but they don't really know how to go about it. What is the process to become a volunteer at SSM Health Monroe Hospital? Well, that's a great question. To begin the process, you can go to www.ssmhealth.com slash volunteers, and you click on the Apply Now button, and on the application, you'll want to make sure to select Wisconsin SSM Health Monroe Clinic as the site preference. Once I receive their application, we sit down for an interview to see what their interests are. And because this is a hospital, we do have some requirements, which is a good thing. We schedule health assessment for them, and we do require all our volunteers to be vaccinated for the flu vaccine and COVID-19 vaccine. And then we follow it up with an orientation and yearly learning modules to keep them informed about our systems, policies, and procedures. If there are any of our listeners who have questions on becoming a volunteer, Don, can they contact you? Yes, I'm happy to talk with them about our wonderful program. I just ask that they please call me, Dawn Meyer, at 608-324-1569, or you can email me at dawn.meyer, M-E-I-E-R, at ssmhealth.com. We've been visiting today with Don Meyer, Volunteer Coordinator at SSM Health Monroe Clinic Medical Group. Don, thank you for being with us today. Thank you so much, Kent, and it was a great a great opportunity to get to talk again. Thank you. For Don Meyer, I'm Kent McConnell, and you've been listening to SSM Health Monroe Clinic's Medical Group, To The Point.